Monday, August 1st, 2005, 9.35 a.m. local Beijing time. Praise God, we are on the plane now to Ulaanbaatar. We stayed at a hotel last night, compliments of Air China due to their five-hour delay. This morning, we left the hotel at 6.30 a.m. to try to catch the 9.30 flight to Ulaanbaatar. Linda, Tim, and Kevin had to fight for our tickets. Between Miat and Air China, no one wanted to give us a ticket to continue. We prayed and God answered our prayers. I think the ordeal with our travel, delay, and tickets helped us become more of a team. We were always so busy and some of us were so far away that we did not have much opportunity to bond as a team. Thank you God for using this ordeal to strengthen the team. There's some funny comments about today. Tim, being true to his nature, woke up with the wildest bedhead. There are swirls, twists, and life in that bedhead. David seems to be the most gaseous. Walter got a bloody nose while the ticket issue was in process. And the manager who was arguing against us for our tickets did not believe Linda's passport picture was really her. <laughs> August 2nd evening. Another day has passed. It is quite shocking to think that we've been here only for three days because I really do feel like I've been here forever. Today we spent all day getting ready for the English camp in Baganor with the FCS students. I remember having this awful sense of contempt for the Mongolian people that were sitting next to me in the airplane. It really made me worry about how I was going to relate to the FCS students and Mongolian people that I was going to meet. But as I spent time with the students, God really revealed to me today how prideful it was of me to feel like I was better than them. God's teaching me how His heart is the same for me as it is for the Mongolian students who are also children of God. As we spent the morning praising and praying with the students, Tears kept falling from my eyes, knowing that we are brothers and sisters, and we can call God our Abba Father. We are equally precious to Him, equally bought with the same blood Jesus shed on the cross. We are also equally burdened for the lost, and that's why we are equally laboring together to reach out to them. I just pray that God will continue to place in my heart the peace and fervor that I felt this morning throughout the journey in Mongolia. I pray that God will be lifted up in Baganor and His name will be the Most High in and amongst us. I miss God, but there is very little I can do about that other than to pray for Him and His safety. Thursday, August 4th, 2004. Yesterday during the dinner at the Baganor church, I felt so discouraged and helpless. I was sitting around Gonza, Nara, Togo, and Cheme, and I was so uncomfortable because I could not communicate. Especially Cheme seemed so cold and distant, and after, I just had a very low feeling of despair. This is the first time this whole trip that I felt this way. Although it's hard to constantly make an effort to talk to and get closer to the Mongolians, it was never so bad that I felt this discouraged. Also, today is the first day of the English camp and I feel so unprepared. This whole trip I've just been so tired and uh, I just didn't know, I don't know what to expect. But I suppose I must truly just have faith and just depend on God because definitely I cannot do anything with my own strength. I'm so weak in every way and I'm starting to miss the daily comforts of home. Just a clean bathroom and comfortable bed. Last night was so cold I couldn't sleep. But at the same time, my missions trip is not a vacation and it's not supposed to be easy. So far, it's been pretty fun and easy going, so I must just exercise my faith. I can't believe that I've only been here for less than four days. Lord, please give me enough strength, mercy, and grace to get through this day. Please help me go to the bathroom and be able to sleep well at night. Please be with my relationships with all the Mongolians and help me as I teach the English class. August 4th, 2005. Today was the first day of English camp and it was so wonderful and exhausting and crazy. I felt so unprepared going into the classroom and meeting all the students. They all looked at me so expectantly for good English teaching and I felt so inadequate. 
But I am so glad that all I could rely on was God. I felt sincerely desperate at some moments in teaching the class or talking to the students with whom I had absolutely no connection with. I really just had to pray that God would provide me the strength and insight that I could not ordinarily have. I am also realizing that, that in the end, even though I come from a different age group, place, ethnicity, and lifestyle, in the end, all we wanted was some peace and joy. I think seeing that made me feel like this missions trip wasn't impossible because in the end, humans all want the same thing, peace and joy in life that only God could give us. Friday, August 5th, 2005, 7.30 a.m. What am I on missions for if not to spread God's word? And yet I have very little desire to do so. This saddens me because it makes me know that I don't really yet have God's heart for his people. I say that I feel compassion, but it is probably a shallow sort of twinge of feeling and not a true love. Like Arjena prayed yesterday, I pray for love for the students and the people I meet. Yesterday, when we came back from school for lunch, there was a drunken man completely unconscious on the other side of the fence. Four men came from the church and had to carry him away in a car. He sat in me and I felt so bad for him and prayed for him at the time. But was I really feeling love or was it out of obligation or revulsion? 10.45 p.m. After the kids went home, but before Team A came back, I sat out on the steps and thought about my thoughts for the day. I looked out at the landscape and prayed, giving all my thoughts to God and repenting of my sinful thoughts. I asked him to show me his heart for the Mongolian people. It was then that I was suddenly overcome by a deep sense of grief and love. My heart hurt so much and I ended up weeping from the depths of my heart for the lost people of Mongolia. Praise God, the Lord truly does answer prayers. May I never forget this feeling. August 5th, 2005, Friday. Thank you, God, for your mighty God. Thank you for working at Baganor and allowing me to witness the power of the Holy Spirit. The faith of FCS students and Baganor church students are so pure and passionate here. I am so blessed by them. They are so eager and bold to share gospel with others. They desire so much to love them with the love of Jesus Christ. It's a blessing to see them. Help me, Lord, to be able to love you and others with pure heart. Help me, Lord, to be more passionate and bold to share the gospel. Help me to trust and obey you completely. Help me to have a deeper faith in you, Lord. Today's street evangelism was challenging. We were tired and the weather